What's going on? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about how an app went viral. Not just a little bit viral, but crazy big time viral. It is the Lenza AI app. If you stick around to the end of this video, we're going to dissect six, six different secrets on why that Lenza app went viral as quickly as it did and how you can unlock the viral secrets in your sales and marketing. Let's go. Today's video is all about what artificial intelligence recently taught me about sales and marketing, aka how an app went viral overnight and how none of us were immune to its meteoric rise. Let's face it, for nearly a week straight, we could not go 30 seconds on social media without seeing our friends or people we follow being portrayed as an astronaut, a rock star, or a super fit version of themselves. Now, before we get into the why behind the wild success of Lenza AI, let's talk about the what. What exactly is this app? In short, it's an app with photo filters, but not just any filters you'd find on the thousands of other options in the app store. This one uses artificial intelligence or AI to enhance and manipulate your pictures and images. Now, if that were all it did, there wouldn't be a big story. I would not be making this video. But Lenza has a premium feature called Magic Avatars. This is where it gets interesting. This is how the craze began. It started how all trends do, with notable celebrities and influencers promoting it to their audiences, their fan base, or sphere of influence. But because Lenza offered this service to the masses at an astonishingly affordable price, the masses quickly started adopting this app. It wasn't just A-listers who could quickly turn themselves into superheroes or fairies. It was everyone, from our elementary school classmates who we hadn't heard from in years, sometimes decades, to our second cousins and coffee shop baristas we had recently friended on social media. We could not escape these images. They were everywhere. And where whether we wanted to admit it or not, we all started to wonder, what about us? What about me? What would we look like through the lens of AI? We had to find out. Good or bad, we needed to know. So we did. Millions of us myself included. Let's take a look at the good. Here are just a few images from my circle of influence. Who would want to look like this? They even gave me aviators. Thanks, AI. But now let's take a look at the bad. I'll just let these sink in for a second. This, I love this uh, retro glamour shot that AI did. I mean, I look ridiculous. This one I actually like, except what's with the ET finger? <laughs> I, I'm counting five fingers here, but they give me an additional ET finger. I mean, I don't know. Artificial intelligence, aliens, you tell me. And then this one is just, it's a little bit cringeworthy. I don't know what's going on here with my lazy eye, but there you go. That's the bad. Now, you typically don't see any of the bad ones on social media. So I'm showing you here. And what you definitely don't see is the ugly. Are you ready? Boom. And to be honest, 90% of the images that I got from Lenza AI, it did not want to show anybody. They were a little bit off. Okay, like this one here. There would be parts of you either missing or in the wrong place. This one, I love this. I honestly think this would be a benefit if I had an arm like this with two different forearms, two different hands, you could scratch any part of your back, no problem. This guy, I love the concert feel, but like, look at my face. There's, I think half of an eye, there's no nose. It was almost there, but they just didn't know really what they were looking at because if you think about it, AI, it's looking at ones and zeros. So the fact that you got anything to use is pretty astonishing. And then for some reason, I had multiple pictures of me as an astronaut, none of them usable. Like my face was always just this weird contorted mess. While a lot of these images are unusable, they're great for parties. You can send them to family and friends in a text message and have them rolling all day long. For now, I wanna dive into the top six sales and marketing secrets that cause this viral phenomenon. Secret number one, FOMO. The fear of missing out. It is real and it's a tangible driving force for most of the world. Why we make decisions on a micro and a macro scale. Would you agree with this second statement? Rarely do we like being the first person to attempt something new, but we hate being the last to do something. It's pretty powerful, right? Here's a question. How can we use the fear of missing out to our advantage as digital marketers? What are you currently doing that's making your prospects feel left out if they don't get to work with you? Secret number two, love of self. Deep down, we are all typically obsessed with ourselves. This is not necessarily just straight selfishness, okay? This is more self-preservation. There's a fine line there, and I'm talking about the latter. So yes, there is a level of selfishness we need to monitor in ourselves, but humans tend to put their wants and desires ahead of others, which is why this app stuck out like a sore thumb 
because you are looking at ways to improve your self image using these images. So it makes perfect sense. But here's a question. How can we use love of self to grow our agencies in a way that does not come across as selfish? What I found is that social proof testimonials is a great way to do this. Secret number three, uniqueness. With this AI app, there's virtually an infinite amount of variables that make up these photos. Each of these photos created by artificial intelligence holds the possibility of portraying us in a way that we've never seen or even imagine ourselves looking like before. So the question is, how can we offer a unique approach to our clients and stand out from the rest of the marketing crowd who are offering them very similar products and services? Secret number four, intrigue, the mystery of it all. There is a mystery surrounding new technology. When something is new, it is in the early adoption stage. New has the ability to both excite and scare us. That is extremely important. AI comes with its own excitement and fears. When you look online in many of our friend circles, we saw comments not just talking about the photos. Oh, that's so cool. Where can I find this? But we also saw two different conversations taking place simultaneously. The first one was about art theft. Where did these pictures come from? Works of art from all over the planet in order to curate these special unique images and pictures of you. Were the artist whose work was taken paid for their expertise, for their artwork? Probably not. And that's causing some stir in a lot of different art communities. The other conversation that is happening is eye-opening. It goes from, hey, this is a really cool app to make these fun pictures, but how long until we see Skynet happened from the movie Terminator where it's Armageddon and the world ends and is taken over by robots. We're going to move on. How can we intrigue prospects at both levels of our agency? If you've never heard me say this before, both levels are one, the agency level. This is your agency, how you prospect for your clients. And then two levels down are how your clients prospect for their future clients, customers, patients, depending on what niche they're in. How can we intrigue at both levels? Secret number five, Inclusion, exclusion. Lenza AI simultaneously managed to nail both of these. It nailed both the I'm doing it too inclusion paired with a healthy here's how my photos are different exclusion factor. So it takes into account both people wanting to be part of a group, the cool kids, and also how if I'm part of this group, can I still stand out and be unique? Question here is how can we add inclusion and exclusion to our marketing efforts? Exclusivity, you can use the word scarcity and urgency. Think about a concert venue. It is both scarcity and urgency driving those ticket sales. Scarcity because there's only a certain amount of seats. Urgency because the concert has a date. If you miss it and show up the next day, you're out of luck. You're not gonna be able to see that concert. So some things in life have an inherent urgency and scarcity, but how do we add those? How do we manufacture those inside of our marketing? Last but not least, number six, low barrier of entry. This one blew my mind, and I think it's actually one of the biggest reasons why Lenza AI took off like a rocket. It takes approximately 45 seconds to download the app, roughly three minutes to upload the photos of yourself, and there are two simple order options ranging from eight to $12 for either 50 of these AI-generated images or 100. That is super low barrier of entry to be part of the cool crowd, right? So a question, how does your value ladder in your agency stack up to this at both levels? Another way to put this is your value ascension. What is the lowest barrier of entry for a prospect to become your client? Is it maybe opting in for a simple lead magnet, something that can be valuable to them? Is it answering a question online from an organic post that doesn't take any of their information or money? At the very top, what is the high ticket offer? I'm imagining in the boardroom when Lenza AI was about to launch their app. They had some questions. First, what's the price going to be? Other similar apps range from $5 to $10, $20 in their simple photo filters. And so they might have been looking at those prices, but then somebody was smart enough in the marketing department to say, whoa, let's just get as many people on this app as possible. Somebody else probably said, okay, great. Well, what are you going to charge? A dollar, two dollars? No, let's give it to them for free. Whoa, time out. We can't just give our app away for free. They're like, why not? There's tons of other apps out there with the same photo filter editing capabilities, okay? Maybe we have a little bit different effects to enhance photos, but they can go anywhere for that. What we really want to showcase is our magic avatar. That's where we stand apart. But here's the deal. This AI rendering photography is so new that we don't know what's going to happen. It could be a bust. And so now we are charging people for something that might not work. It's going to be a lot fewer people in our app originally. Let's get as many people in and see what happens. I guarantee you, Lenza AI had no fathoming of what was about to happen to their company. It went viral overnight to the tunes of millions, if not tens of millions of dollars. I would love to know the final count, 
just in a simple two week period in the month of November, 2022, when we were seeing all of this everywhere. Here's a quick recap of how Lenza AI went viral. Your next mission, should you choose to accept it, is to figure out which one of these you still need to check off and then go to work. Why not give your agency the exact same recipe and environment to make it go viral? Thanks so much for watching. Throw me some love, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Boom! Lenza